Uh, sorry, I don't know why this is cutting off. But so here's the uh, ball bearing I'm going to use. Nothing too too awful special. Um, and it is a quarter inch ball bearing. I mean, it just barely fits in that. We're going to drill this end all the way through with probably a number 10 or a number 8. I'll say a number a number 10. It's bigger than an 8. Not quite a 10. But it's a 3 16 So this one's going to go all the way through. You can see it better. But I made a little mark right here, and that's as far as, in as I want to go with this. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do this real quick. There's a that BB that's down inside there now. As weak as the spring is, um, I'll probably even have to cut this in half. I did a 15 16 get a better uh, fit at the bottom of that I'm just gonna go in there and just barely touch this So, got that cut. It's not <laughs> very good. 
And next time, so the way this works is that your pipe, the way this works is you have your pipe clamped solid and then your threader comes on this side and it cuts threads this way. It makes a, a taper. Um, obviously that's too short. So, if you're going to do this, make sure you, you got to have it at least that long and then you'll clamp on this end to, uh, to do your pipe thread. So, that was a learning mistake. And I didn't get the best I didn't get the best threads on there, but I did I did put it in and it did bite in there. So here's a here's the spring. I'm gonna cut this spring out. Okay, so we got our spring. This is our what, 5 sixteenths bolt. I just cut the top off and cut a groove in there so we can use a screwdriver. So put the ball in there. We're going to use a shorter spring. What we forgot to do? Got to drill a hole in the side. A hole right there meet the inside in there. Alright, so we'll assemble this again. Then we'll have our little BB. And we'll probably have to knock that burr out. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. So you can preset the tension on how much, I guess, pressure you want in there. So. Okay. Alright, that's how to make a pressure relief valve. Um, and I figured with this I can just use pliers to uh, tighten it on, on the brush hog or on the finish mower um, and this air hole is going to be pointed down so if it rains it's all going to be going down so let's go install it okay so I guess I can't make leave well enough alone so I guess we'll try to make some sort of a, a, a square on this uh, if all else fails just two flat spots
13 sixteenths fits on there pretty good um, probably good enough for, for what we got just install that on there bottom. There we go. So we can set that tension all the way down or as loose as we want. I will probably put it fairly loose and I'll put some more uh, blue Loctite on. Probably about that tight. So. Okay. Um, I got an idea for another check valve. Um, that should be coming up in another video coming up. Um, I'm also going to uh, try to do a collaboration with uh, Junkman. Uh, he's here on YouTube. He does uh, kind of a lot of the same stuff that I do. A little bit of everything. <laughs> um, so we'll probably be doing a live stream on that. Anyways, there you go guys. Y'all comment right. We'll catch you later. See ya.